We're here with writer, director, producer, and officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Gaylene Preston. Thank you so much for chatting to us today. So, what an epic journey and fantastic opportunity. Can you, I guess, tell the viewers out there very briefly what it was like? Well, it was challenging because, you know, getting in behind things at the UN isn't easy. And Helen walks very fast, so <laughs> when you're filming her walking anywhere, you have to run backwards with a camera on very fast. Yeah, yeah. So there you are, <laughs> challenging. <laughs> and what do you hope audiences to walk away with once having watched the film? Well, the film isn't finished until it's got an audience. You know, the audience is the most important thing. And you couldn't have a better spot to be giving your film. Look at it. I mean, it's brilliant. The, the, the mighty Civic. And, and we've, got, we've got the Civic full. And that's going to be an amazing experience. And I will treasure that all my life, really. Hi there, we're here with Jacinda Ardern, who's the deputy leader of the Labour Party running up uh, against the National and various other parties in the coming election. Jacinda, you worked at the start of your political career with Helen Clark. I did. How does it feel being here today and seeing Helen uh, do what she's done and continue to do what she's doing? I felt enormously privileged at the time. You know, I was only 24, 25 when I worked for Helen. So um, to see now uh, how much she's continued to do for New Zealand on the world stage, I feel privileged and proud. Yep. Do you think, and this is just an, an assumption and opinion, but do you think that she, by doing what she's done at the UN, has completely knocked down doors for other women to follow? Oh, look, there's no doubt that actually through Helen's political life, she's carved a path, um, be it at the domestic stage or on the international stage. I think in what she's done, she's demonstrated how far we have to go. Um, but even when she was here in New Zealand, I know that my experience in politics is vastly different because of Helen Clark. So there's a lot of people who feel very, very grateful for the role that she's played. What do you see for the future of women in film across all aspects of film? Um, it does, it feels like things are getting better. Um, I think roles, um, the roles that we see for women are getting more complex and um, more visible. There's still a long way to go. Um, but you know, this film was made by two women and it's about a, a very impressive woman. Um, and. Yeah, I think as long as we keep celebrating them and keep investing in them, that, that it's looking better. I think the film was absolutely fantastic. Gaylene did a magnificent job at telling Helen Clark's story. Helen Clark has been a role model for me for many, many years. I remember interviewing her actually back in the day in Queenstown, and she is just so real. I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was really well done. I think uh, it demonstrated that Helen was just too brilliant, uh, too committed, uh, too good for the job. It's a, it's kind of a brutal insight into how the world is working at the moment, you know. And and it was interesting because if she had have won, we might not have got as much of an insight into that as possible. So possibly it served some sort of purpose like that, you know. And it was amazing to see her in in, in that context. She's a very noble person. I think that. It was amazing to have an insight into what that journey was like for such an iconic woman like Helen Clark. Uh, I also think that it really illustrated, for those of us who are passionate about the empowerment of women, just how far there is still to go. But I would really encourage people to see this film to understand more about the structure of the UN and the obstacles that we're up against. Any final words for the viewers out there? Stay warm. <laughs>